Hello, everybody. Reverend Dr. Red here. <coughs> now, for any of you who uh, uh, visit spiritualmessiahministries.org, uh, spiritualmessiahministries.com, or reverenddrred.com on a regular basis, <coughs> or if you're a fan of my Facebook fan page, one of the ministries fan page, or if you're a friend of mine on Facebook on my profile page, you see that I post numerous things about the fact that uh, Christianity and Judaism is becoming uh, outlawed here in America and all the different legislation that's trying to go into play to kind of erase Christianity outside of the public life, not just here in America but other countries as well. Um, you would have also have seen the fact that I posted numerous different signs by both what I said myself as well as what other people are saying that kind of compares the Obama administration and the Obama regime to that of Hitler, showing signs of how the Obama regime is matching that of what Hitler did to Germany in order to take over and form a fascist dictatorship. Uh, <clears throat> well, in this video I'm going to say that we are more or less at a crossroads here because we're at a, a very crucial time in, in history where not just here in America but all over the world Christianity and, and you know Jesus Christ is being pushed out of, his, out of history books being pushed out of society and is being pushed outside of public lifestyle and is now becoming a sin is coming against the Lord, speak your mind into where where you cross in the public. What we need to do is remember where we come from, stand up for Jesus Christ, and bear our cross in public and at the workplace, regardless of what others might think of us. It is not a crime, no matter what you believe, no matter what anybody wants to tell you, it is not a crime to bear your cross, to carry a Bible, or anything else. As was covered in, in the past, both by myself and by numerous other people, <coughs> DHS is trying to uh, depict a white Christian male as a terrorist and the um, black or Arabian Muslim as the hero in a lot of their See Something and Say Something videos. <coughs> and they're trying to get it to the point where people mainly Christians and Jews are going to be scared to wear their crosses out in public, uh, to carry their Bibles, you know, to really say anything about God in the, in the public uh, eye. So, and there's the fact of this whole Hitler Martin thing going on, where now the target seems to be the NRA, with everybody trying to say it's NRA swap for Trayvon's death, as well as, you know, some other kids' death, uh, where they're blaming the, the signs for the NRA talking about an event they have coming up, uh, trying to blame the sign that has no relevance whatsoever to the event that took place, um, and, and blaming the NRA <clears throat> for, for, you know, you know uh, to put in the wrong message, so to speak. <clears throat> and it's all propaganda, folks. It's all it is propaganda. Um, now, I'm going to tell you that due to all this, we're at a crossroads. We have seen legislation pass into a law that is one by one taking out the Bill of Rights and, and systematically destroying the United States Constitution. We are also seeing legislation in place in other countries that is systematically destroying the constitutions and the freedoms of the peoples of these other nations. <clears throat> and the United Nations is now coming up on July 2nd. Um, they're going to be looking to pass legislation there where every single member state of the United Nations is going to have to have their citizens uh, fork over their uh, weapons. And we are now going to have a giant, massive um, construct of nations that are completely and utterly disarmed and helpless. Uh, then we have the fact that Obama more or less said word for word that Congress is only there to be there ceremonial purposes only 
and that he takes his orders um, from the United Nations and that he gets his authority from the United Nations, not from Congress, which obviously goes completely against the United States Constitution. <clears throat> I'm going by the United States Constitution. The President of the United States is supposed to get all their all of his authority from Congress, and there's supposed to be a, a system of checks and balances in play to make sure that a dictatorship, much like what we had with England before the, the, the United States of America broke away from England, doesn't happen again. And what we are seeing happening right now is that it is happening again. We are systematically losing our rights and our freedoms. And we are systematically watching the construct of a globalist, um, one world uh, government. And we are going to be seeing the rise of a one world religion. Um, I can't stress this enough. I know I probably said this in numerous videos, uh, one right after the other, but I really can't stress it enough. I mean, if we don't do something now, we are going to be slaves. A lot of us are going to be killed off. <coughs> uh, they actually went as far as saying that, um, Climate change skeptics are suffering from a mental illness. Climate change skepticism, they said, is a, is a uh, what was the word? An aberrant um, behavioral disorder. And anybody who is a skeptic about climate change uh, needs to be re-educated, and those who cannot be re-educated need to be killed off. Okay? Uh, so now we're looking at putting people who don't believe in climate change into these re-education centers, and whoever doesn't take the re-education is dead. They're as good as dead. That's, that's it. That's as far as life goes. Gone. Because I'm not going to fall for this climate change nonsense. And they're trying to use videos to make you believe in the climate change by, you t over the summertime, the polar ice caps melt and fall off into the water, and they're videotaping this. And telling you that that's what's happening to polar ice caps. We're losing the polar ice caps because of us, because of man. What they're neglecting to tell you is that over the winter time, the polar ice caps refreeze. And over the past just 10 years or so, the polar ice caps have grow, grown um, approximately four or five fold. Meaning there's five times more polar ice caps now on the north and south polar, polar ice caps than there were just 10, 15 years ago. And even though people will try to argue with you about the temperatures right now, that we're seeing right now, we are actually starting to work into another uh, ice age. That's where all this is heading. This global warming nonsense is just that. Nonsense. It's not happening. Um, and they're trying to, to put a uh, tax to it, or what they're calling a carbon tax, and what they're failing to tell you is that we breathe in the oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. The trees, bushes, any kind of plant life breathes in that carbon dioxide that we exhale, and they exhale the oxygen that we are breathing in. That's how the ecosystem works. We're all, we're all working together. And even though they're trying to say that the vehicles and the power plants and everything else are trying to are destroying the, the ozone layer, that's another uh, why that they're, that they're putting out there. Even with the power plants and, and the vehicles and everything else going on, that only added a 0.01% addition or increase to what's going on already occurring naturally on this planet. The moment was already there. And it has been shown through science that the ozone layer throughout its own natural recourse, decreases and increases on its own. It's natural. What we're seeing right now in the changes of climate, with the climate is, are all natural planetary changes. There's nothing to raise alarm to at all. Uh, and then they're saying as part of this thing that, that in, in the name of saving the planet, they want to kill off more than 80% of the global population. That's why you're not seeing any, any help 
uh, going over to Africa or any of the other poor nations, or now that Americans need help, we're not, we're not seeing the help, because in their twisted minds, that's going to continue to hurt the planet. When in all actuality, we're not hurting the planet at all. <clears throat> They're not helping us or helping the poor in, over in Africa or anywhere else because they're trying to kill off more than 80% of the population. All in the name of helping the planet. Or saving the planet. And then, and then we're watching other legislation go into play that is looking at taking away all of our freedoms of all these different nations around the world as they combine all these nations into one giant empire with one centralized system. Granted, people might argue with me that we already have the centralized system in place that are controlling us through the central banks. Well, yes and no. Because yes, these couple people of the elite through the bank, central banking system do control the different nations but they want supreme control. They want to know. They want us to know who's in charge, and they want us to know that no matter what we do, that's it. We're all part of the, under the same rules, same regulations, the same governance. Uh, we're going to be made to follow and worship in the same religion under the same God. And you know, we're literally at a crossroads. Because see, the problem is. There's an estimated 35% of the people that are awake to what's going on. <coughs> they are well aware of what's coming. But they're continuing to sit there and do nothing. <coughs> and the reason why a lot of this legislation is being stepped up and why a lot of, a lot of the reason why... <coughs> A lot of different governments out there are coming down harder on their people and trying to push them down and push them down and push them down as low as they can get them. <coughs> and it's because they're running scared. They've already admitted <coughs> that they are losing the war. <coughs> and they're winning a lot of the major, major battles. <coughs> We're winning a couple of smaller battles. But they've already admitted that they're losing the war. And why do they know this? Because just like myself and others that are trying to get the truth out to people, the, the elite themselves are <coughs> basing a lot of this on, on history. <coughs> and they're realizing that in every single uh, dictatorship type government where they lost their power and was overthrown and a new power rose up is was from mainly 5%, just 5% of the populace rose up and fought the regime and took down that regime and established an entirely new government. Just 5% of the people. That's all it takes. And they are running scared. They are literally running scared. Now, considering there is more than 35% of the people that are wide awake to what's going on, what we really need to do right now is get out there and start standing up and speaking up. <laughs> because if, if the entire 35% of us that are awake gets up off our couches, gets out from behind the computer screens, puts down the controls to the video games, <laughs> and gets out there and starts informing our friends, our families, our neighborhoods, the uh, local pastors of the church, of our local churches, uh, to, to people that are online at the supermarket, just start opening our, our mouth and just informing people everywhere we go. If the entire 35% of people do that, the globalist elite will crumble. Their entire empire will crumble and the people will, will win. <coughs> <clears throat> and they're scared of that. <clears throat> if just 5% of the people rise up, just 5% of the people rise up, <clears throat> their empire is done. They're going to crumble to the ground. 
Now, that's why they're coming down so hard on us right now. That's why they're trying to watch every movie we make and listen to everything we say. And that's why they're looking to arrest people and, and, and make up stories about people that are trying to give you the truth. And that's why they're trying to get rid of Christianity. That's why they're trying to get rid of Judaism. And they're the religions of the light. They know for a fact that Judaism and Christianity is allowed to continue going and is allowed to continue freely and openly preaching what's inside the Bible and what's inside the Torah. And they're done. People are going to be are going to wake up to what's really going on. It's all in the Bible. Everything that's happening now has been prophesied to happen. <coughs> and there is, and then there's the fact that there's more than 97 percent of the clergy that I can't even trust. As a Christian minister, I cannot trust because of the fact that they are part of the FEMA uh, clerical program where FEMA is literally using the clergy <coughs> to walk the people right into slaughter. <coughs> and they are told by FEMA what scriptures they are and are not allowed to preach out of that Bible. <coughs> and they are told how to keep control of their people <coughs> to kind of ease them right along in to the, to the slaughterhouse. <coughs> so these clergy, I can't even trust, and I'm going to go the extra line to say that, that they're not even true Christians, because if you're working with FEMA, and if you're working with the enemy, if you're working with the global elites, you are not a Christian. You are no longer a minister of Christ. You are working with the devil. You are lying in bed with Satan. You are committing a sin. You are leading your people to hell. You are handing your people over to the global elite. They are putting their trust and their faith in you to lead them to safety, and you're just handing them over. So you people, you clergy that's working with, with FEMA and other organizations, and you're only preaching what they're telling you to preach, I can't trust you. As far as I'm concerned, you're not, you're not a true Christian. It's that simple. Now, there's all these different things that we need to take into, into consideration, and we need to look at. You know, it's really strong and good time that we're uh, in a really serious and dangerous crossroads. Either A, we're not going to question anybody. People are not going to question their spiritual leaders. They're going to keep on following blindly, <coughs> which will keep these spiritual leaders from walking the wrong path <coughs> and allowing these spiritual leaders to lead their people right into the slaughterhouse. <coughs> <clears throat> the vast majority of the people are going to continue sitting behind their computer screens, on TV screens, playing their video games, or just not saying anything about anything to anybody. And we are going to see the downfall of, of America. We're going to see the downfall of the free world. And we're going to see uh, the, mass, the, the most massive genocide in the history of mankind, of Christians, Jews, and terrorists. The terrorists being the people. And that, that includes you. If you're below the poverty line, you're a suspected terrorist in the eyes of the government. Or the people that are well aware of what's going on and are awake to what is going on, are going to rise up, and are going to speak up, and they're going to inform as many people as possible about what's going on. And if they're a Christian, they will wear their cross in public, they will carry their Bible in their pockets, they will pat their Bible on their desk at work, put their cross around their neck. If you're Jewish, you will have your Star of David with you, you will, your Torah with you, you'll put your Torah on your desk with you at work, wherever it is you work, and you're going to make a statement. And you're going to inform the people of what's going on. 
<clears throat> and we will watch the globalist elite empire crumble before it even has a chance to establish itself. <clears throat> Those are the two outcomes that we're looking at. <clears throat> Either mass genocide and enslavement on the one hand, or a complete and utter freedom on the other hand. <clears throat> and those roads are literally splitting like this. We are literally right here, right before the crossroad. So you have the crossroad here, we're here. Now we need to make a choice. Are we going to go down genocide and enslavement of the people? No more freedom? Or are we going to start to go down the road of complete and utter freedom and the destruction of the globalist elite empire? That is what we must decide right now. <laughs> and there's nonsense that we can't do anything. Well, I can't do anything. I'm only one person. Well, what am I going to do? Well, what can I do? You can do a lot. That kind of mentality is, is absurd. It's insane. The global elite are literally running scared. And they're scared of you. Why? Because you know what they're up to. If you're watching my videos, if you're visiting reverend.thebread.com or spiritualmessiahministries.org or any of the numerous other organizations and individuals out there that's trying to get the truth out to the people, then you are well aware of what's going on. And they are scared of you. They are scared you are going to get up and you are going to start informing your family and friends and your neighbors and your community of what's really going on and wake them up and in turn they're going to wake up their family, friends, etc. and so on. <clears throat> and if that happens, they're dumb. So really, all you need to do, all anybody needs to do is just stop relying on the mainstream media and the propaganda machine for their information. All anybody's willing to do is their own due diligence and study everything. Look into everything. Look at every angle of every single story. And then get out there and inform everybody of what the truth is. That's it. If enough people start doing that, all you gotta do is slap your mouth. That's all. You can just look, look up the truth, come to the truth yourself, and then open your mouth and allow the truth to flow out of your mouth into the ears of other people. That is all you need to do. <clears throat> if enough people do that, just 5%, just 5 of people do that, the globalist agenda is crushed. And the globalist empire is going to crumble. And the free world will continue to remain free and the freedoms that we have lost here in America, we will regain. The freedoms that they're trying to take from us here in America, we will once again secure. And every other people around the globe will have 100% secured freedom. No more central banks, no more global elite, no more global agenda trying to run our lives, watching every move we make, trying to tell us how we're going to do what, when we're going to do it, and trying to run every aspect of our lives. And, there's, and we're not going to have to any more worry that one day we're going to wind up in shackles as slaves in, in, in concentration camps or these little uh, city, uh, island cities, whatever you want to call them, with more than 80% of the population being killed off. I understand it sounds a little bit crazy. I've been researching this for the past almost 13 years myself. And so believe me, I understand it sounds crazy. The fact of the matter is, it's all actually happening. It's going on right now. <clears throat> all anybody needs to do is look at the cold, hard facts. And it is really clear what is going on. Once you start looking at the facts and looking at the reality of the situation and then you peer out into the, into the world, it becomes clearly obvious. You, 
you're, you'll, you'll literally be able to see it right in front of you. And that's what you need to do. And for all of you that are aware of what's going on, that have yet to say anything, or have yet to speak up about anything, it has come time to do so. Because if you continue to sit there silent, it's going to be your fault that we lose our freedoms. It's going to be your fault that more than 80% of the population dies off, or is killed off for that matter. And it's going to be your fault and that for generations to come, we, we will be enslaved. So, if you know what's going on and have yet to say anything, the time has come for you to now speak out and, and can start saying what's really going on. If you're worried about sounding crazy to people, because this does sound crazy, well, it does say right in the Bible that families are going to be divided, son against father, daughter against mother, Brother against brother. People can, are going to be picking and choosing their sides. It's inevitable. <clears throat> you can't worry about what other people are going to think about you. The only one you should be worrying about, if they, think, if they can feel you're crazy or not, is God himself. Don't worry about what anybody else thinks of you. Do you have any idea in the past couple of years how many people, including my own family members, have told me that I'm completely that I'm completely crazy? It's become a daily reality for me. I'm always walking with people that tell me I'm crazy. Does that stop me? No. Why? Because I know the truth, and it's my job to get the truth out to the people. And I'm going to do that any which way I can. It's not my job to make them believe the truth. It's not my job to make you believe the truth. It's just my job to get the truth out there. If you are awake to the truth, then it is simply your job to now continue spreading the truth. It's not your job to make anybody believe the truth, by no means. It is just your job to get the truth out there. The only one you should be worrying about how they feel about you is God and God alone. Not your brother, not your sister, not your mother, not your father, not your best friend, not your son, not your daughter. God and God alone. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. The bottom line is, if you know the truth and you're following the truth and you're trying to warn everybody, you are doing what God says. You are obeying God. And I, quite frankly, want to obey God and then sit here and obey fellow man. But that's just me. Now, these next couple of months are going to be an extremely rough ride. These next couple of months are going to be rather critical of our freedom and of the free world. If we don't do something now, if more people don't start speaking up and speaking out on the truth and on the reality of the situation and try to defend freedoms at all costs, we are going to see the destruction of the free world. And we're going to see the emergence of a one world government and a one world religion. Now, for those of you who have been following what I've been saying, there, you'll know that everything that I post on the Bible Prophecy Predictions page on spiritualmessiahministries.org and spiritualmessiahministries.com has all happened. <clears throat> There's a few others that I got to put down, and I'm a little nervous for putting down because I don't want them to happen. And those of you who know me personally, you know, growing up or past couple of years before I even uh, found Christian Mastan Ministries, um, before I even, I even uh, received my ordination and whatnot, you've heard a lot of predictions that I made back then, a couple of years ago. 
so those of you who have, who've known me for years know that every single prediction I've made has come true. And there's no reason to doubt well anything that I'm saying now. So there's no reason to doubt the fact that it just just looking at the reality of the situation, studying the facts of what's going on right now in the past couple of years, going just going, going from Bush up through Obama. There's no reason to doubt the fact that unless things change now, there's going to be the rise of a globalist government. There's going to be the rise of a one world religion. Every single religion, mainstream religion, is going to be outlawed. It is going to be illegal. Anybody who follows those faiths is going to be killed. Each and every freedom that we have right now will be gone. From the very constitution that has given me the freedoms and the right to make this video right now and say what I'm saying in this video right now will be gone. And at that point, I will not be. I won't. I will not have the right or the freedoms to make this video, or videos like this at that point in the future. Everything we know to be normal today will be illegal. It will not be allowed. So everybody needs to make a decision right now, today. Either you want to see the destruction of the free world, in which case continue sitting back and doing nothing, and you want to see the complete uh, mass enslavement and genocide of the white race, the Christians, the Jews, then continue sitting back and do nothing. You want to see the enslavement of your children, your grandchildren, your grandchildren's children, and continue sitting back and do nothing. Or, you're going to decide that you want your freedom, that you want the freedom for your children, your children's children, your children's children's children. In which case, you need to stand up, get away from your computer screen and your TV screen, put down the video games for a few hours a day, and go out there, and tell the people the truth. Get the truth out to the people. Get the information of what is really going on out to the people. The time is now. If we don't do this now, there isn't going to be a free world tomorrow. If you don't do this today, if you don't speak out on the truth today, Tomorrow we will be enslaved. Tomorrow, more than 80% of the population will be in concentration camps all around the country and the globe being killed off. Exactly what Hitler tried achieving will be achieved thanks to Obama. The choice is yours. We do have the ability to defeat them. All it takes is a mere 5% of the population to stand up and to speak out on the truth and to push the old blood out and bring the new blood in. No more career politicians, no more central banking system, no more any of that. It just takes 5% of the population to do that. Just 5%. <clears throat> According to statistics, there's 35% of you out there who are awake and well aware of what's going on and are, is well aware of the seriousness of the situation. Now, it only takes 5% of the people to defeat the globalists. There's 35% of you who are awake to what's going on 
but uh, he's doing absolutely nothing and is saying absolutely nothing. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do the math there. If each and every one of you that are awake and aware of what's going on and start speaking out, organizing rallies, going to rallies, we can defeat them. Because now we have seven times the amount of people need to defeat the globalists. So instead of being a struggle to defeat the globalists, convince every one of you stand up and speak out, we can defeat them like that. Just like that. Because now we have seven times more of the people. There's literally seven times more of us awake than what is needed to be awake to defeat the globalists. But there's only approximately one percent of us, give or take, that are actually actively out on the front lines, such as myself, standing up and speaking out and trying to wake up others to the truth. There's only approximately 1% of us, give or take, that are organizing rallies, that are going to rallies, that are signing petitions, and that are taking a very active role in putting a stop to this globalist agenda. Now, every other, everyone else, every other one of you that are awake, all the rest of you, 35% that are awake, what's going on, we need your help. If you truly want your freedom, if you truly love the fact that you have the right to speak your mind, to wear what you want to wear, to go where you want to go, whenever you want to go there, to choose what you are going to eat and when you're going to eat it, <clears throat> to choose <clears throat> how many kids you're going to have and when you're going to have them, <clears throat> to choose yourself how you're going to raise those kids. If you truly love the fact that you are allowed to own a firearm <clears throat> and use that firearm in self-defense need be or take that firearm down to the gun range and fire off a couple of rounds every weekend <clears throat> target practice or whatever your reason may be <clears throat> if you truly love those freedoms and every other freedom that I haven't mentioned. And if you want those same freedoms for your children and your children's children, you need to, to put down the video game controller, you need to put down the TV remote, you need to turn off the video game on your, on your computer, you need to get up off the couch, away from your TV screen, or up out of your computer chair, and you need to start taking all the knowledge that you have inside your brain of what's going on right now and the seriousness of it and where it's going. And you need to get out there and start educating everybody else. You need to start educating your families, your, your friends, and your, and your communities. I mean, it's literally gotten to the point now where not only does Obama have his own youth group, which is similar, very similar to Hitler's youth group, he's already started the secret police, where he's enticing people to write to the route. If you have more than one cell phone, if you own a firearm, if you're a member of the NRA, if you're a member of the Tea Party, if you're a Christian, you're a terrorist. Look out for people like this. If you buy multiple cups of coffee in the, in the morning, if you sit down with your laptop in a coffee shop, in a cafe shop, you're a terrorist. I mean, the laundry list of things that makes you a terrorist in the eyes of the government is ridiculous. 
and people are actually told to watch out for people like this. If you get pulled over and you have a camera in, in your vehicle, a weapon in your vehicle, a sleeping bag in your vehicle, and, and multiple cell phones, for all the for all the officer knows you're out camping. Then multiple multiple cell phones could be a businessman. But now that officer can, uh, needs to check into you because you could be a possible terrorist. So says the Department of Homeland Security. Now I own a firearm. As you can see from what I have around my neck, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian minister. I I have multiple cell phones. I don't have a landline phone. I have a cell phone that goes to the ministry. To the ministry. I uh, have a cell phone for the that go, also go is for the ministry, but it's my personal cell phone number. The one cell phone is just is the ministry number that anybody in the ministry can answer. Say it's pretty much at the at the ministry location. <coughs> And anybody, everybody who needs to reach me through the ministry, there's one of the cell phones that I carry on me. And the other cell phone that I carry on me is my personal cell phone. So I have two cell phones on me. One's my ministry cell phone, another one's a personal cell phone. So, can you say I go out camping? Now, um, because I'm camping, and can I run a full-time ministry, and I, and I try to stay in touch with my people, if they need me 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, so you're always going to see me with my cell phones on me. Now they have to hold me there even longer to determine if I'm a terrorist or not. I mean, that, that's a little absurd. And then, and then, and then there's the fact that... Uh, now the the officers are walking into uh, classrooms, and they're telling children that they can get paid upwards of two hundred dollars per kid to rat out their parent their parents. So if you have a child in school right now, don't be surprised they call the cops on you because they're gonna get some quick cash. And all you have to do, grow your own garden, do your laundry multiple times a week, keep your water running while you're brushing your teeth or doing your dishes, uh, if you have uh, two or more bottles of, of cleaner, when I say I have two bottles of, of bleach, two bottles of laundry detergent, uh, two bottles of Lysol, you know, two or more bottles of these individual things. You're a terrorist. You're an eco-terrorist. And your child is being programmed in school that because of that, you are eco-terrorist and your child must call the police on you. And if the tip plays, plays out, your child is going to be paid upwards of two hundred dollars for calling the cops on you. I and mean, come on, folks. Why are you being so blind to the reality of what's going on? Your family and friends can call the cops on you if you are a businessman. Because now you have multiple cell phones. If you're an independent journalist, you can have the cops called on you because now you're going to be sitting in the cafe shop drinking your coffee while you're sitting there writing an article. Or if you're a college student while you're sitting there writing, doing your homework in a cafe shop drinking your coffee. Somebody can call the cops on you because you're a potential terrorist. <coughs> if you're a parent with a child in school right now, you better be careful because that child can call the cops on you and put you in jail to make $200. I mean, what aren't you seeing? <clears throat> there is almost anything to make that you do on a normal, average, everyday basis to somebody, including your child, 
can call the cops on you for being a terrorist. And you're not seeing anything wrong with this? You're not, not putting two and two together and realizing that it, by, going, by going along with this, you are going to put yourself behind bars, literally? You, 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 you are literally going to be responsible for your own death or your own enslavement in a, in a concentration camp if you don't start speaking up against, up against this and try to put a stop to this. It'll be, it'll be your own fault. And there's really no excuse to, to say that you don't that you're not seeing any of this. And then there's the fact that the, that the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts are being trained with actual rifles to shoot down anybody who rises up against the, the government. So say the government, the, say the police break into your house. <clears throat> at four o'clock in the morning <clears throat> to arrest you and your family and haul your family off <clears throat> to a concentration camp. <clears throat> you lock and load your weapon <clears throat> and start firing on these police officers <clears throat> to keep your freedom. <clears throat> your child, if they are a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout, <clears throat> is now trained to pick up one of your weapons and shoot you because you shot at the police. Because you are trying to protect your family, your child is trained to shoot you. We are literally seeing Nazi Germany all over again, only on a global scale. And its headquarters is right here in America. America is literally the last the last stronghold from the free world. Once America goes down, that is it. The free world is gone for generations to come. <clears throat> and they're implementing a very Nazi Germany-like uh, dictatorship over the American people, and it's going like this, faster and faster every day, because people like you can see what's going on, know what's going on, but you're not doing anything about it. Well, right now, today, we are at the crossroads. There's two directions we can head in. We can go down this road to enslavement and genocide, or we can go down this road to freedom. The choice is yours. If you want enslavement, and if you want mass genocide, then... Just keep on living your, your daily life like you normally do. Don't do anything. Allow your child to, to shoot you dead. Or allow your child to call the cops on you because you have too many uh, cleaning agents in your house. So now you're an eco-terrorist. So allow your child to call the cops on you, make $200 to put you in jail. You know, don't worry about it. Just, just, just keep on trying to make believe it's not happening. Or, we can go down the road to freedom, and if you want to go down the road to freedom, you better start educating your child between the difference of right and wrong. And let the child know that if you cast them calling the cops on you for cleaning your child's clothes and keeping the house the child living clean, that that child will have hell to pay. And you better... Start getting out there, communicating your family and your friends and your community of what of what's really going on, and and, and getting them as, to do the same thing. Once they're awakened to the truth, to get out there and start preaching the truth themselves. Once the government realizes, once the globalist elite realize <coughs> that not only do we know what's going on. <coughs> But we're not going to take it. We're going to stop it. We're not going to allow them to take our freedoms from us. Once they're well aware of this, their empire will crumble. And the free world will once again rise up and, t and take hold.
The choice is yours. Like, like I said, statistics show there's only approximately 1% of the people actively speaking out. Even though there are 35% that are well aware of what's going on. And all that's needed to stop this, all that's needed to crush the globalist empire is just 5%. There's 35% that, that's awake to the truth. There's 35% not aware of what's going on with only 5% needed to speak up. Only 5% are needed to actively take a role in stopping this. With 35% of us are awake, only 5% of us are needed to do something. There's only 1% of us actively doing something. Do you see? Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out the math. If things continue going where they're going now, we're, we're done. We're pretty much looking at a world of enslavement and mass genocide. That's pretty much what we have to look forward to. So all the rest of you, 35%, that are well aware of what's going on and well aware of the truth, I suggest you stand up and start speaking out and start doing what you can to can get the truth out to the people and encourage them to to now go out and get the truth out to even more people to everybody that they know it's the only way we're going to stop this and it's the only way we're going to hang on to our freedoms and it's the only way we're going to ensure a free world for our children and our children's children. You have no reason to be scared of them. They have every reason to be scared of you. And they are running scared. The globalists are running scared. The globalists have admitted they are losing the war. So let's keep them running scared. And let's make sure that they do lose the war. Stand up and speak out. Spread the truth. And don't worry about what anybody thinks about you except for God Himself. That's all that's important. Is what God Himself thinks about you. Remember, come Judgment Day, it's not going to matter what your husband thinks of you. It's not going to matter what your wife thinks of you. It's not going to matter what your children think of you. It's not going to matter what your friends think of you. All that's going to matter is what God thinks of you. Nobody but God can be able to help you on Judgment Day. And remember, disobedience to tyranny is obedience to God. So stand up and speak out. Let's stop this globalist, elitist agenda and the global oppression in its tracks right now before it is too late. And I hope to see you in the next video if we are still in the free world. The time is now. If you don't stand up today, you will be in shackles and chains tomorrow. God bless.